Okay, <laughs> here we go. We're out back now on my back deck, and um, I'm not going to show you everything because my yard is still kind of a little bit of a mess, and my husband and I are working on cleaning it up. Now oh, there's my little swing set behind me, and I love my patio. Oh, and there's there's my Sierra kitty. Okay, I'm sorry I have to keep pausing this, but I have a little button here that turns it around from my face to the other side, so I have to pause it to use the button, so hang on. Okay, there's my Sierra. Pretty kitty. She is a Burmese Siamese, and I got her for free because <clears throat> somebody didn't want her, and that makes no sense to me because she is a purebred, and oh, my little citronella candles. I'm going to show you right now, yeah, I have a hot tub that's pretty much destroyed there. Um, that's my trellis there. I know I'm just showing you quickly because it is kind of a mess. Anyway, um, no, that's not a real deer back there, by the way. That's my, um, I don't know, it's not even really a target, but it's a decoy deer, and I love it. And that's my burn pile and lawnmower. So that's the mess that we're working on cleaning up because in that corner over there where that little junk pile is, there's going to be a waterfall. Uh, hopefully a little bigger than the one out front and I can't wait for my husband to build that one anyway here are my patio herbs I haven't gotten them all yet this year but I've got mostly what I needed um, this right here is Greek oregano and it's a lot bigger than just your regular like Italian oregano or whatever and it's a lot more robust but um, I freeze mine and then I have it in the freezer all year round, and it doesn't mold out that way. You can dry it as well and use it in your spaghetti sauces and all kinds of food, and it really gives it a nice flavor. And along with that also is my rosemary, which I, too, freeze that. There we go. And uh, I only bought one tree so far this year because it... You know, in the pots, they don't last all year round. And here it snows, so I can't bring them in in the winter. But um, I have it, and then when it's all done, I, again, freeze it. You know, you can also make, like, sage bundles using rosemary. And rosemary is a very relaxing herb. It's good for love and... Oh, that smells so good. It's good for love and um, relaxation and just all around general healing type stuff and that's my shed in the backyard background there which is a mess so I'm not showing you that right now that's where I keep a lot of my stuff that I make candles with and everything okay up front I have my chamomile aren't those pretty these to me are just the most lovely thing and they're sweet I know you guys have probably had chamomile tea but here, me and Cara pick our own, and, well, we grow it in pots. This one here sprouted itself from my other one. I think the birds kind of dropped some seeds in it. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to give this little plant to Cara, and she can continue to grow her own chamomile every year. My favorite lavender, English lavender. I've tried a couple of different lavenders, and I really need to tell you that the English lavender, look at those leaves, aren't they beautiful? The English lavender smells so potent. So when I'm making like oils and infusions and stuff, I will use English lavender and you know, you put it in a bottle with your oil and you just get such a strong, lovely fragrance. Okay, so now we're going to head... Okay, that was kind of silly because we are out back, but what I meant was out back to what I call my magic garden. And the reason I call this my magic garden is because everything grows, including the weeds. <laughs> so you'll forgive me, I haven't weeded. I think I, like, I, I weeded it last month, and it's all back again. But I get these big, huge, giant look-alike for rhubarb. But it's not. It's just a stinky, smelly, bitter, nasty weed. I don't like it. But anyway, yeah, it's all over my garden right now. So I need to get out here and weed again. And, of course, my tiger lilies that have not bloomed yet. They're starting right there. 
and I have those all along my fence line. They make a great coverage and they grow in anything. This is Mystery Starlight's grave. If you've all watched Cara's video on her cat, Mystery Starlight, that's her grave and we're going to paint on her tombstone. We haven't done that yet. So, Google Sweet Woodruff. It's not only used for flavoring, and some places will tell you um, not to consume too much of it, and other places will tell you exactly how to use it, that it's not dangerous. But, nonetheless, I have my herb book, which when I do my shelf thing, my bookshelf video that Cara wants me to do, I will show you that. It's Magical Herbs Encyclopedia. Sweet Woodruff is an extremely magical herb. And um, it's, 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 it's also used in divination. So this was actually given to me by Mother Nature and my neighbor <laughs> who planted some and it spread over her fence. And yeah, I just leave it here. She asked me if I wanted to get rid of it. She'd have her husband get rid of it. I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I like sweet woodruff. It is an herb. But she didn't even know that. So there's that. Let me pick one for you. And I'll show you a close-up of it there. And you can dry that and use that in some of your magical herbs. And it will get little white flowers on it. Pretty much when it does that, it's done growing. So... But anyway, that's that. That's Sweet Woodruff. So we're going to come down this way. And yeah, Sweet Woodruff all over. Along the fence, I have planted several different spearmint. I love spearmint. Sometimes we'll come out here and just chew on one. Mmm. It tastes so good. It just tastes like spearmint gum. And it, and it grows very wild. All you need is like one little piece of spearmint. And you will have spearmint everywhere. You can see it's growing into my um, tiger lilies here. And moving down the line, I had, I don't know if I still have any. The birds might have taken it away. And I, I had peppermint, mint, as well. And at one time I had chocolate mint and pineapple mint. But in moving it into this garden, some of it has disappeared. I'm looking for some. So. Sorry about the moving around of the camera. But, by the way, it's the first time I've ever tried my uh, Galaxy tablet doing a video. So, hopefully this will turn out very well. And, you know, i got to find one. One peppermint. Well, here, lemon balm, la, 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 la. That stuff also started out with just like one, look at the birds, they love my lemon balm. It started out with just like one little branch, and it just goes like crazy. And it's got the nicest smell. Yes, you can make tea out of it, and you can cook with it. But it just smells so fresh and clean, it smells like lemon pledge to me. So, let me back up a little bit because I have a whole, see that thing just spread like crazy. I have a whole bunch of that. And I think that might have actually drowned out some of my peppermint mint. Um, so, let's see what else we got in here. And I had to charge the battery a little bit, so if it's going to run down, I might have to stop. Or has some more lemon balm growing on this side. And of course, I've got my wild rose bushes, which I keep cutting them back, and they keep growing. And those are just some flowers I have in here. That's called columbine. Um, I had tulips, but they're already done blooming. And over here, I have my sage. And this is a culinary sage. But what I want you guys to know is that, and I, well, you probably already know this. I, I don't mean to sound like you don't know what I'm talking about, because you probably do. Culinary sage can also be burned as a regular sage. Like in California, when you get the California white sage, um, that's the stuff that you buy from the store and they burn it. Well, you can also bundle up your regular sage and tie it with a twine, dry it out, tie it with a twine, and it burns just as good and smells just as nice. So I need to pick some of this because it's starting to, starting to yellow, but... There's my sage. 
I did have variegated sage that came up one year and then it didn't come back and it's in here somewhere. I'm still hoping it will come back up again. And my buttercup bush. Cara had mentioned that buttercups are also used for... Yeah, don't pay attention to my nasty old water in those fountains there because, again, that needs to be cleaned up. This I'm proud of. I found a little sprout in the woods. Let me get that. All right, you can see the whole thing. Found a little sprout in the woods of a fern, and it was just dying, and I didn't know what to do with it. Well, they say you can't plant fern in your yard unless it's a certain kind of fern. The kind of fern from the woods won't grow up in your yard because it's adapted to being around the trees and so on and so forth. Well, this little fern adapted to my magic garden. I brought him out of the woods and watered it and planted it. And I planted him kind of in here because if I can get a better view, I am up against the woods. So I thought that, you know, maybe it would work. You know, the plant would actually, the fern would actually think it's in the woods. And it worked because, la la, look at it. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I'll give you a close up of its leaves now. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Mother Nature is just wonderful sometimes. Okay, um, I'm going to start closing out this video for now because I think my husband's home. Yeah. Hi, honey. <laughs> That's my husband. I'll see you soon. Hey, I got to show you one other thing before I go in the house now. It's all piled up right now. But these are my statues that I had in my garden. And, you know, the weather kind of takes care of them sometimes. So I brought them in and I repainted them and I'm going to get them back out in my garden again. Eventually here is my little gnomes and this area right here where these fountains are all yucky, that's going to be all cleaned out and that's where my fairy garden goes. And I have all these little stones and I have fairy statues that I just like to put up to honor the fairies. This is my big one. I had to completely rebuild her with a little bit of plaster. And then I painted her up. I found her. Somebody was throwing her away. And I found her and I took her and I cleaned her up a little bit. But yeah, some people don't like gnomes because they just think they're wicked little creatures. But they're really not. They're, they're magical and mischievous, but fun. And that brings me one more thing down here. My garden gnome. He's been guarding my gate for years now. And... Hopefully we'll continue to guard my gate even longer. Hello, Mr. Gnome. Are you keeping everything safe? I know you are. Okay, and then that's my back gate and my little owl decoys. I love animals, so I have little decoy things all over. I love them. Anyway, my little bird feeders. My birdhouses and my pine trees. And that's the other thing. I love pine trees, so... You'll see a lot of pine trees in my backyard. Of course, my husband and I are thinking about moving to Arizona. Um, we don't know yet. I probably won't find any pine trees there, but I'll just replace it with sage and tumbleweed. There is a family living in here, so I don't want to disturb them too much. Okay. See you later. Okay, so before I went in, I tried to videotape one more thing, and my battery died, so... I don't know if this came out or not, but I wanted to show you. This is my garlic chives. And as you can see, it's quite large. And this does come back up every year. So remember that. Garlic chives will come back up every year. This on the end are actually your seeds. So when they bloom like that, you pick the flower and you let it dry out. And inside these, kind of hard to see, Maybe I can show you some other time. But inside those little flower petals are little tiny black seeds. Very, very small black seeds. But that's your garlic chive seeds. You can replant those. You can also transplant this plant. You know, you can take pieces off and transplant it somewhere else. So, okay. All right, so there you have it now. I've done a video on a little walk with my daughter, and um, as far as my health goes, I want to thank any of you that wished me well and blessings because I am getting better and I feel much better. And uh, 
Yeah, I know this video was a little bit different, but a lot of you have been asking to see what my life is like and, and um, you know, my altars and things like that. And so hopefully I'll be doing another video soon and I'll be able to show you my altar on the inside of the house. Blessings to you. Love you and thank you for watching. Blessed be.